getting started with Raspberry Pi. Welcome to the amazing world of Raspberry Pi. This is the first lesson in a wonderful journey that will have you coding and building projects in no time. For this first lesson, we are going to explore the different parts of Raspberry Pi, set up the software, and personalize the Pi so it can do all of the cool things we have planned. You will quickly see that Raspberry Pi is a diverse tool that will make you excited to dive into Python and physical computing. Materials. Raspberry Pi Model 3B+, Micro USB Power Supply, HDMI Cord, HDMI Monitor, 8 gig Micro SD Card, Computer, Wi-Fi Access. Key Concepts. Hardware and Software. What is Raspberry Pi? Operating System. IP Address. Procedure. Downloading and installing the image. Go to raspberrypi.org slash downloads slash Raspbian, R-A-S-P-B-I-A-N. Click on the download zip under Raspbian Stretch with Desktop. This is the operating system that Raspberry Pi provides for free. Once it downloads, you will need to take that image and place it on your micro SD card. Raspberry Pi recommends using the application Etcher to do this. You can check out their site for more details. Once the file is safely flashed onto the SD card, remove the micro SD card and insert it into your Raspberry Pi. Connecting parts. Gather the rest of your materials and connect your Raspberry Pi with the following items in this order. Mouse, keyboard, HDMI cord connected to monitor or TV, then to the Raspberry Pi, Plug in the micro USB power supply to the wall and then the Raspberry Pi. Make sure to plug in the power last. Booting up Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi should boot up on your screen. It may take a minute to go through the first boot up. When it has completed the boot up, it will take you to a desktop with a welcome window. Follow the directions. Read the welcome and click next. You will now be asked to set the country, language, and time zone. If you are in the U.S., click the box for the U.S. keyboard. Next, you will be asked to change the password. Please write this down because there is no way to change this if you forget it. You will now be asked to connect to Wi-Fi. This will allow you to do an update. Follow the directions for the update. This could take almost 10 minutes. Once the update is complete, it will reboot the system. Installing software. We are going to add software we will be using on the Pi. In the top left corner, there is an image of a Raspberry. Click on this to get a pull down menu. Go to Preferences, then Recommended Software. It will take a couple of minutes to pull up the software. Under Programming, select Scratch 2, Sensehead Emulator, Sonic Pi, and Thony. Move to Games and select Minecraft and Python Games. Under Internet, select VNC Viewer. Once those have been selected, click OK in the lower right-hand corner. The software will take a few minutes to upload and then the download page will close. Configuring Raspberry Pi Settings. We will now configure the Raspberry Pi settings. Go to the Raspberry in the corner again and click on Preferences, then on Raspberry Pi Configuration. There are four tabs. Select the second tab labeled Interfaces. Enable the camera, SSH, and VNC. It will ask you for a reboot. Reboot the Pi. My Raspberry Pi IP address. Once you are back in the Pi, you will need to open the terminal. It is the fourth icon on the top left. This will open a black box on your screen. The terminal allows you to talk directly to the Pi. In the box, type in I-F-C-O-N-F-I-G. You will see a bunch of writing, and in the middle, you will see your Pi's IP address. Write this down. You can close the terminal once you've written down the IP address. 